Good evening, students. Today, we discuss the topic Python programming in data structures. Uh, first top first program is the stack. The stack nothing about last in first in. Another form we can about is the leaf form. Then my leaf form. Leaf form last in first in. Okay, think all about last in first out. Uh, we'll see what are the operations are there. Operations. It is first operations. First. And second one is a pop. And the third one is a display. Third one is display. Okay, so this is having that is a operations. Okay, we'll see by one by one. The stack is that uh, linear uh, data structures. This linear data structure you can call about as that uh, last in first time. Last in first out, we'll call the mechanism as a LE4 mechanism. Okay. What are the operations we have in the operations? Operations push up and display. Display. Okay. What is the push? Always uh, before we have to be a post the element, we have to check whether the stack is full or not push me it is having it is a push me insert the element into the stack initially the stack position stack the stack uh, initially given by is the, the stack having that is a top is the top uh, top is the index so we will call by we can call by the array array of the top equal to minus initially Stack is top, stack equal to five elements are there, five will give by the top equal to minus one. The stack is consists of when there is a uh, zero to five elements are there, maximum equal to five. First, we have to push the element into the stack, we will call by the push, push means as the insert element into this stack. The insert element is called by that is the top value going to be increment. So, I mean, is a insert. Insert into the element, insert into the element, insert element into the stack. Stack that poses that element that positions that position called top of the stack. Top of the stack. Okay. Initially, top equal to uh, minus one. While inserting element, you give by the stack equal to top. Top equal to will give the data element equal to data. Data nothing about is that we have to pass the many pass the element equal to thirty. Then while inserting the element, first of all, top will increment to the top equal to top plus one. Initially, top equal to is a minus one, minus one and a plus one. The minus one and a plus one it equal to zero. So the stack of the top mean is a zero the element. We insert the element equal to thirty. So similarly, if you want to push with another element, the stack equal to top plus one. Top plus one already having the top equal to zero. Zero plus one equal to one, so we can say the manikul twenty. Similarly, you can do perform the operation like having the push. Suppose the stack is full, we could not possibly insert the element. When the stack is full, even having the stack equal to four, because stack element equal to already given the five element, zero to four equal to five, and inserting by some element will give this element by. Like, like if you are insert the element stack equal to five, then you have to give the message equal to stack is full. 
even though if you want to push the element into the stack push some element suppose we, the function color word 60 the function color function it is having 60 if you want to push a stack they're saying that stack is overflow overflow on push operation okay that means okay how we will say that one same thing we represented as a diagrammatic representation and we'll make it by the rectangles yeah. okay we'll make it by empty now we are creating the some stack here first one then second one third and the fourth Suppose if you want to insert the element into the cell stack, initially we have in the stack top, top equal to here. Uh, the position or the position 0, oh, sorry, it is a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The bottom side is a minus 1, sir, available. Insert position of the insert position top top equal to minus one minus one. When I push in the element equal to some elements are there, push the element equal to 30. That time top will be a move to here. Top equal to top plus one, the insert element equal to 30. Next push in the element, top will need to increment to here, then they can set by 40. Okay, after that. Whenever we want to push into the stack, top will be increment by 1. So we have to have in the 50. Okay. After that, if there is no operation to do with all or together. Okay. All or not together means we could not perform with all. After performing with the 3 push, we can able to perform with the pop operation also. Pop means we can fall by the pop. Pop, pop function. It having the desire to remove the element from the top of the stack. This is your top of the stack. Okay, first uh, the remove the element from that is top of the stack. So that means is that if you want to remove this element, they have any call by the pop function, you have to pop out the element, remove it. So the top value equal to minus one. So it is having that is the top. It is the now top after the delete the first element top of the element. Top of the element. Now we will go from where is the another time we call by the push. If you are given by the push, uh, push having the 10, the top will be increment to this uh, here, the second position, inserting with the 10. So this now become this is the top part. Okay. When you want to display the output, we will call from as the that stack. The stack, the position having the 0 to the top of the element. So I give by i equal to 0, i less than or equal to top. Okay. i plus plus is there is a for loop condition i plus plus. They want to print with the print print the element from the 0 to top. They print with 30, 40, and 10. This color board is the 30, 40, 10. This color board is the stack. And we call by the warp operation means. Delete the element from the top of the stack. Okay, display means same operation. After that, well, here having the ISO, here pop time, we have to check the condition. If you have in the pop, we have in the two elements are available. Suppose here 10 and 20. If you want to perform with two time pop, okay, first we'll call by the pop operations. Second to call to be the pop operation. Second time we call the pop operation, the element will be deleted. When I editing with this element, they display the message that stack is empty. Stack is empty. The message will be displayed here. Okay. Further to further perform with the pop operation means they are saying that stack is uh, performing with pop operation. It is underflow because already I have zero element. Again, you have zero minus one means minus one. When I reach by the minus one, call about the underflow. Okay, when I want to push in the element, suppose we have in the five elements are there. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is my top of the element equal to n minus 1. When I reach the particular element, this is called about the full. 
when i deleting the time when i reach by this particular position call about is the empty okay further to deleting the one element call about the underflow after that have when i full the element when i try to insert the one more element but top of the stack we call about the overflow this is having that is a stack operation just uh, we'll see that first program and that is a stack okay we'll go to this the python python ideal okay we have to go to the first program okay here the python we have to call by that is a function class first we have to call by that is a instant need to be created we have to call by stack equal to stack function order to follow this having the class what are the class consist of we have in the reserve stack class the stack colon if first to initialize that particular the stack having the self item must be zero all are given by the zero item here you want to write the function for that push push mean you have to definition of the push you have to pass with the self comma item self point zero comma item item mean as the you have to push with the party here Stack out push 40 will become here 40, then having already 0, 0 plus 40 had to be a self item dot append. Append mean add, add the element in the stack. After the again push with the 30. So automatically a second element also come to the stack, push the element. Push the element equal to 30, 40, 20, 10. Last having the 5. After the had perform with the that is a display mean what is the push in the 5 element? They won't display because last in first out now. Nah. So 40, 30, 20, 10, and 5. The top of the element equal to 5. When you want to perform with the pop out pop out operation, when you call by the stack equal to top mean, we had to come to the function, the stack, whether I had to check whether the stack is the particular stack is empty or not, I had to check first condition. If the stack is not empty, then I have to return by the self item of the pop. Pop means some element want to remove from the top. Okay. When I want to check is empty now, nah, they come to here, written by the, the self condition element equal to 0 or not. The length of the self contained element equal to 0. Length mean having the 0. Okay, then having that is a pop operation started. Pop. Having the pop, two time on performing the pop element, the water element popped out, you can able to come. Finally, what are the elements are they? You can go and display the function also. Stack the display. Okay, now you can see here, here the function going to start on here. After the push, the pushing time will go there and I will run. Now run the code. You see there, first I have to be 40. You see the code here. First, we have in the 40. Next, I have to the 30 and 20, 10 and 5. So, display the statement just to display by the all the element. And what is first perform This is the push do, then I have displayed. Here, I have in the pop. When you have in the pop in the two times, I have in the last 5 and 10 will be coming out. Remaining element going to